Well, this is the project that I'm working on now, and I have done this certain silhouette before, and I have a video on it. Um, what I done with that was I put my stencil on, and then I took my chalk paint and a cosmetic sponge, and I dabbed it on, and I had to be very careful not to get bleeding. Well, this time, I decided just to t put it on and use spray paint. I've used this in a matte matte black, and it just went on so easy. It was so easy to do, and I wasn't having to really worry about bleeding because I was holding it up, and it, I had everything that wasn't supposed to be black. I had it all taped off, and it is so crisp and clear. As you can see, there's the barbed wire, and it's very small. The reins on the horse. And now once I have it done, I'm going to wait for it to dry well, and I'm gonna put a coat of polyacrylic, and when I do, that wood is just gonna pop. That cedar just looks so pretty when it has polyacrylic on it. But one reason, the other reason I'm showing this, not only did I wanna share that I'm doing it, but I wanna take you down and show you where I get my cedar. So I'll do that in just a little bit. Where my uh, husband's at and his brothers are down there cutting up some cedar logs. As you know, I use cedar a lot in my crafts, so I kind of thought it would be interesting to be getting a shot of them, a little bit of video of them cutting it up. They're supposed to be down here somewhere. They moved the saw out underneath the tree because it's so hot. But I'm going to head down there, and when I get there, I'll take a little bit of video of it. Why don't you just go ahead and drop it down with and make some of that huh? make some of that shirt rail out of that. What well, do you, you think? Need how big how much it is? About an inch and three eighths. Then because the time I run through the plane will be about an inch and three sixteenths. That would be about that thick. That's really thick enough for the side veining. Yeah. I don't know it. <clears throat> I loosened that a little bit so it doesn't come down anymore. Yeah, that's about that inch and three eighths. Okay. Come on. 
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and seeing where I get my scraps of cedar that I work with and do projects like this. And all that wood was uh, off the, here on both of the farms out in the field. It was trees that are knocked over and have died and they go and pull them in and they keep them and they use the mill. And then my husband takes all the pieces they cut up and he takes it out to his workshop and he planes it all down and makes it nice and smooth. So I hope you enjoyed this little clip. And until the next one, we'll see you later.